when the Maple Leafs come to town, Daniel, are you conflicted? You've got that, you know, Vegas Knights team that you've kind of adopted, but being a Torontonian yourself and being in love with the Maple Leafs, are you conflicted or what do you do? Are you seen with a, a Maple Leafs jersey cruising around with your whole crew yeah. looking at you or what's the Here's story? Here's what I do. I wear this hat, which is the Leaf hat, and then I'm wearing this right here. <laughs> <laughs> I sent him a message. As soon as he, as soon as it was officially got the deal, I said, what's wow. number are you going to be? And he said, hey, I got this pre-ordered. And uh, so I wear this with the hat and I've been doing that ever since they come. And I don't know that I'm conflicted. Obviously, I've lived in Vegas. Frankly, what the Leafs did to me was when they traded to Rask, that was kind of the last straw for me. I was very upset by that. And I've seen them make a lot of trends towards the right direction. I think Kyle Dubas is doing a good job. Having, Unfortunately, I hate Je Kelly McCrimmon. Like, I don't just dislike him, but I absolutely hate this human being. Like, I, will be ha I was happy that they moved on from DeBoer because I thought it was unfair they fired Gallant to replace him. Not that DeBoer was a terrible coach, but he just wasn't the right fit. And it was just sort of like a rectifying a mistake in a way. Um, but the next one that has to go is Kelly McCrimmon. This guy, he made a couple good deals this offseason, but overall, if you look at his track record the last few years, I mean, he's given, he's given, he gave away Flurry for nothing. Flurry traded later for almost the first round pick. You know, then he gives Pacioretty for future considerations and had to give them Dylan Coughlin. Like, if you look, he's getting fleeced in all these deals. And eventually, you're kicking the can down the road. The cupboard will be empty. 